it's been a little while since I checked in on the bees and they seem to be doing pretty good. I did find the queen. She was way over here and there's a lot of drone. So a siren going off. There's a lot of drone brood and a lot of worker brood and everything looks pretty good except for this one comb. The bees were building it on both sides and that becomes a problem because it, it kind of mirrors all the way out the rest of the bars. So I wanted to remove that. There's just a little bit of brood in this comb and a little bit of nectar. I'll uh, open up the hive and, and pull out one of the bars so you can see what the bees look like. This is the follower board. There's a few bees on the follower board. I just put this, this is just an empty uh, bar. I need to make a few more bars. I'm going to do that next so I can add a few bars and bring them all the way to the end of the hive. I've still got some time because you can see I've got empty bars here. And here's a few they're working on making comb. And this is as much as I'm going to get into the hive. I really don't like to bother them too much. And here not sure if you can see, but there's a lot of brood. Really nice pattern right here. And so all looks pretty good. Again, I'm kind of a hands-off beekeeper. Every time I I go in here, I feel like I do more damage than good, so the main thing is I just want to make sure they have enough space, so after I finish putting the hive back together, I'm just going to go and make a few more bars to extend to the end of the hive. And then once the hive gets full, then I'll start thinking about whether or not I can do a split. I'll get a few close-ups of this comb. It's really beautiful, but it's, it just creates such a problem because this misshapen comb just continues all the way across the hive. So since there's not a lot happening with it yet, I figured it was probably, probably better to get rid of it now. There are a few eggs in it that haven't been capped yet, but um, I don't know. Maybe I can... Maybe I can put it on the end and, and just see what happens that way. I mean, that's a question. You know what? If anybody, I'm going to go ahead and put this bar on the end. And if anybody wants to chime in, again, <laughs> I really, I know so little about beekeeping, but I have to say I do know a lot more than I did last year. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in the hive just because I really don't want to sacrifice the, the eggs and the, the brood that are in here. When you turn the comb to the light, you can see the little uncapped brood. Let's see if I can get a close-up of that. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and put this comb back in the hive, but at the end of the hive. And uh, please let me know what you what you think about this. I'm really uh, really not too sure, but I know that in the past when I've had a twisted comb like this, that it just creates all kinds of problems. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video.